Hazy, hot, and humid with showers and storms possible on Thursday. Good Wednesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, you can see from the ultimate Doppler radar just a few minutes before 8 p.m., there's still some lingering thunderstorms around the plateau, stretching up toward the Tennessee-Kentucky line. Over the last two hours, most of it's been around Crossville, Cumberland County, also into Scott County, for example, but much of this is beginning to slow down. The ultimate Doppler radar presented by Madlock Tire Service and Auto Repair, East Tennessee's number one tire shop and auto repair since 1953. If you need a new set of tires, maybe you need your tires rotated or an oil change. They've got five convenient locations to serve you. By the way, tracking the clouds, we had a lot of them this morning. Picked up over an inch and a quarter officially at McGee Tyson Airport. The biggest rain, by the way, that we've had at McGee Tyson since the 19th of June. Uh, but a lot of these clouds began to move out and we got to see the sun pop out with temperatures warming up later in the day. But the clouds are going to be scattered, if not mostly clear for a while tonight. 84 was the high temperature today. I was expecting 87. Oak Ridge hit 85, but either still three degrees off. Normal high 88. There's that precipitation amount of 1.29 as the sun goes down at 856. They got to 85 Oak Ridge, 84 in Sevierville Pigeon Forge today, and 84 in Morristown. Uh, they hit 85 today in Middlesbrough, but again, many of us getting some locally heavy rain. They hit 90 in Jackson, 91 Nashville, 91 in Memphis today. Now, the future visibility gives us a good idea of where this patch is of fog are likely to form overnight. Probably well after midnight may center right around the areas where we got most of the rain. But by 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, it should be on its way out of the picture. Headlines, we're looking for a typical summer pattern to continue. Hazy, hot, and humid on Thursday. When it rains, it pours. Because it's so humid, that shouldn't surprise you. But invariably, some people, I didn't know it was going to be this bad. Sometimes it can be. It can be a one, two, three inch rain in some cases when these skies open up with all of this humidity. That's why the Weather Prediction Center. You mean that's a thing? Yeah, that WPC, it's a thing. Uh, they have most, if not all, of uh, East Tennessee under the excessive rainfall outlook tomorrow. That's level one, it's marginal, means that there could be some isolated flash flooding. Hence, when it rains, it can pour. Now, you can see the isolated flash flooding that's possible might be localized. It might uh, lead to rapid runoff with heavy rainfall, but it's now being removed, I should say, for Friday. This morning, they had us green. Now for Friday, they've taken us out of the picture, but then they bring it right back on Saturday and into Sunday. So there's going to be some opportunities when it rains, it pours. Now, the Storm Prediction Center, which probably uh, we utilize a lot more in discussion. Uh, good news is we don't expect severe storms, but you can see there are some areas in orange between Denver and into parts of Kansas where they could have some numerous severe storms tomorrow. Yellow would be scattered. Dark green, Oklahoma City and Tulsa could be isolated, but back here, just some gully washers in some cases, but not reaching severe limits, not by the weather services definition. You might think one or two or three inches rain is severe, uh, but that's not the criteria they're utilizing here. Uh, damaging winds will be more likely in spots between Kansas City, Tulsa, Denver on Friday, but back here it's just uh, well, run of the mill thunderstorms that could open up quite a bit of rain in our area. We'll keep an eye on that for sure. But tomorrow morning, as we head toward about 7 a.m., not a lot to see. It looks like it's a late afternoon situation that develops, probably from 4 to 7. I'm thinking about 4 o'clock and then 7 o'clock. Yeah, there's some showers and storms that come in. I have a 40% chance of rain on Thursday. I have us up to about a 60% chance on Friday. And you can see why as all this begins to kind of linger here. Uh, I think there's an opportunity here. And then the warm front moves up toward the Ohio Valley. We'll see more opportunity of rain this weekend. So overnight tonight, down to about 69 Normal low, average low, 68, but we'll take all night to get there and into tomorrow morning with patches of fog. Few clouds, some fog late, kind of falling off my uh, legend there, but storms will be fading where they have been lingering in the plateau this evening. 64 for low in Oneida, 65 for Sevierville, 67 for Newport, looking for a low in Kingston of 68 degrees. 91 tomorrow, it's hazy, hot, and humid showers and storms, about a 40% chance. As I expect, a high around 87 in La Follette, Campbell County, 90 for Morristown, 91 Newport, Del Rio, and Dandridge, about 90 Kingston, 89 for Oak Ridge, uh, with, again, the possibility of showers and storms coming in from the west. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville, East Tennessee, 88 on Friday, 60% chance, 40% chance of rain and storms on Saturday, hot like a firecracker as we move into Sunday, 
86, but I have an 80% chance of rain. So Sunday could be the soggiest day, uh, coverage-wise and probability-wise, across the board. Monday is cooler at 83. Some uh, models debate they pull this out pretty quickly Monday. Uh, but then we get nice and hot. Again, Tuesday into Wednesday with more rain coming in late Wednesday. So if you want to keep track of it all, it's very easy to do. Just download the free Captain Accurate weather app with Pete Michaels Traffic. It's free at the App Store Google Play. Works beautifully on your iPad as well. You get all the National Weather Service alerts, plus three extra alerts, plus lightning alerts, and so much more. And you get Captain Accurate's forecast. But Pete Michaels, just tap on his little uh, rectangle on the app. You'll get his updated traffic reports at just a touch of a finger. My name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.